cybersecurity experts, others confront the Independent National Electoral Commission, Tinibu, with loads of electoral materials in Obi's petition. Now, the Labour Party and its candidate, Mr. Peter Obi, yesterday presented a cybersecurity expert, Dr. Chibike Ugoke, who confronted the Independent National Electoral Commission with sensitive documents relating to the INEX results viewing portal, IREV, and other online information relating to the February 25th presidential election. Now, beside the courts further admitted in evidence, a bundle of exhibits containing a total number of permanent voters' cards, PVCs, that were collected in 32 states of the Federation before the 2023 general elections. In addition to a bundle of documents that contained the total number of registered voters in the state. Now, the exhibits were brought before the courts by the petitioners who alleged that the presidential election that held on February 25th was rigged in favor of President Bola Ahmed Tinubu of the ruling All Progressive Congress APC. Now, senior counsel in Obi's legal team, Peter Afumba, who conducted a tendering of the document, told the courts that they were duly certified by the Independent National Electoral Commission, INEC. But INEC, through its lawyer, Mr. Kemi Penhiro, opposed the admissibilities of the exhibit in evidence. Now, a similar position was taken by President Bola Ahmed Tinubu and the APC, who equally challenged the admission of the exhibit in evidence. All the respondents said they would adduce reasons behind their objections in their final written addresses. Now, regardless, the court admitted in evidence document on the total number of PVCs from the 32 states and max them ex exhibit PCN1 to PCN32. Also admitted in evidence was a certified true copy of a certificate of compliance on exhibits the petitioners earlier tendered in respect of Edo states. Other electoral documents the court entered in evidence after they were tendered by the petitioners were certified copy of supplementary IREV reports for three local government areas of Benue State, two local government areas of Cross River State, 12 local government areas of Lagos State, as well as one local government in Gombe State. Now, in his evidence, in Chief Dr. Chibike Ugoke, who appeared as the eighth witness, PW8, in the matter, told the court he is a cybersecurity expert, led Mr. Patrick Iweto, the sub Upon witness told the court that the press release date November 11, 2022, which was signed by the INEC National Commission and Mr. Festus Okoye, was titled Alleged Plot to Abandon Transmission of Polling Unit Results to the IRS Portal. Ikewe told the court that the witness had in paragraph 26 of his statement on oath referred to sources on materials that were published or used by the INEC from 2018 to 2023 with a specific uniform resource identifier attached. He equally tendered a report that what he termed as metadata, all the respondents said they were opposed to the evidence of the witnesses and would give their reasons at a later stage of the case. Now, as part of the objection, counsel to the respondent told the court that they were served with a statement of witness containing eight pages shortly before the proceeding commenced. Now, consequently, they urged the court to defer the cross-examination to a Thursday to enable them to study his statement on oath, which was admitted in evidence by the panel. After the court gave the witnesses the nod to vacate the box and return on Thursday, the petitioners called their ninth witnesses, Mr. Onoja Sunday. Sunday, who led in evidence by Mr. Ikechuku Izechuku, another member of Obi's legal team, told the court that he is a staff of Women and Child Rescue Initiative, a non governmental organization. He tendered both his statement on oath and his office identity card, which were both admitted in evidence. Now, under cross-examination by the counsel to the Independent National Electoral Commission, 
Abu Bakr Mahmoud's son, the witness told the court that from his observations, voting and counting went well on the day of the presidential election held. Now asked if his party won election in the polling units where he observed, the witness said, I do not work for any party, neither do I have any candidates. Now answering further, the witness said, I did not work with beavers in the polling units. And from my observations, the official went away to the ward collision centers with the form EC8A polling unit results that were signed by both the INEC officials and the party agents. Now, he, however, told the council to President Tinubu, Mr. Emmanuel Okala, that the sub opener upon which he appeared before the court was not addressed to his organization but to him personally using his village address. Now, in his own testimony, another witness, Mr. Kefas Iya, PW10, who identified himself as a civil servant, said he was subopponed to appear to give evidence before the court. He told the court that he supervised about 24 units in his ward in Madagali local government area in Anambra State, alongside one Suleiman Mustafa. He stated that apart from the fracas that ensured between the All Progressive Congress and the People's Democratic Party agents, there were no other issues except that the failure to transmit the election results. I did a good job and scores of the elections were properly imputed in forms EC8As and the results were equally properly announced. As a supervisor, it was not my duty to handle the beaver's machine, he added. While being cross-examined by the President Tinubu's lawyer, the witnesses said he was not in court to testify on behalf of the INEC. Further hearing on the petition has been adjourned till Thursday. Still on the court issues, the court fixes 14th of July arguments in the Allied People's Movement case against the Independent National Electoral Commission and Tinubu. Now, the Presidential Election Petition Court, PEPC, has fixed July 14th for adoption of written arguments in the petitions filed the Allied People's Movement, APM, which closed its case against the elections of the President, Bola Ahmed Tinubu. This is still in for gist with the news. We're going to be bringing you more news concerning the election. Do want to drop your comments, your thoughts, and tell us what you want to see on the next video. Thank you very much.